Okay, welcome to the Gate Podcast. Today we have uh, Roy and Sue Gustafson here to share their testimonies and um, so forth. All the, we're gonna get right into it. We're not gonna waste any time. So, who's gonna? Who are we gonna start with? Roy. Okay. The first question then we're, that we're uh, gonna go with is how you came to know the Lord. Well, I was brought up in a military family and we moved around and my mom always took us to church and I was, we were Protestants. So we, my mom would always take us to church, but I never accepted Christ until I was uh, actually started junior college, even though I was going to church all along. And uh, I just felt lost. I, I didn't have seen a purpose or a direction for my life. And um, I met this young lady and, she knew a pastor who had Bible studies, and I said, we need a Bible study. Now, just one question. You met in college, both of you? Yes. Okay. And which college was this? Hancock. Hancock. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, started going to the Bible study, and um, the um, God was just working on my heart. So one day I was sitting in the parking lot at Hancock, and I just accepted Christ. And it was just uh, an amazing change. And I was delighted in it. it. You know, how God works, it, a lot of those scriptures I'd heard and learned just came alive finally in my life. And I, I, it, was, it was just amazing. So and, it wasn't a crusade, no church service? It nope. was just sitting in your car? Sitting in my car, talking to God. And it's, you know, and I, I knew, I knew he was real. And it was so amazing, so wonderful. <laughs> I get to sue? Robert came from this down. So. I too am from a military family. And um, my parents' example really paved the way for all of us kids. Um, they, they were imperfect, perfectly imperfect. Now you had a big family, huh? Where you you only have kids, one brother, three. is that right, he had, Roy? He had a family of three. One, two, brothers. two brothers, okay. And you had how many brothers and sisters? Four brothers and a sister. Oh, and okay. all the tramps we could find on the freeway that were getting a <laughs> meal, <laughs> we'd let them in. But, um, uh, but, but my, my dad was military. He was an officer, a retired officer, when we, by the time we moved here. But by then, we pretty much were cemented. And we were always uh, praying at night for you know, the evening prayers, mealtime prayers. My mother was a worshiper. And so I grew up in a very different environment than Roy did. Um, there was a lot of joy, a lot of laughter in our home. Uh, then there were seasons where it was so tight. My father was in um, uh, defense of the United States. And so he uh, has always had serious jobs. And uh, so. But, but anyways, they, they balanced it all out, and uh, family is really important to me, and especially in light of what I experienced. Seeing the example set before me, um, I think one of the benefits that, that I enjoyed uh, was um, the order that we had because they understood authority. And that is a big deal. So what was the actual thing that the, where you put your faith in the Lord? What, what brought you to that place? Well, was it just a, a, a slow thing happening through your life? or? Well, at five years old, they I was told later that they used to flip over who was going to listen to my prayers because I really felt like I knew the Lord. Oh, okay. And um, I, I drifted away and later on when I was a teenager and asked questions. But then uh, that things became evident to me, just studying a human cell back in those days before all the fancy microscopes. And it's like, wait a minute, this isn't just happened. Everything is so strategic in one's human cell. And now they know so much more than they did then. But it's like, okay, I don't know who he is or who, who God is, but I know that somebody orchestrated this everything. Yeah, the, des the designer, there's the designer yes. behind it. Yes, yeah. yes. So from there, it was uh, baby steps kind of, and just asking, asking. And I, it was always this reassurance. And finally, I, I don't even know, it's kind of a gradual, it was just like absorbed um, in, in the Lord. And um, I had just uh, had such a heart for that. So you very young and then you college age. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything, anything you want to elaborate on before we move on? Well, I think as parents, it's important. I, I was just thinking about this, reflecting on this many times because we homeschooled our kids. But they had the, uh, we had, uh, we, there was a godly order. My father always declared, We're here. your word is your bond, and he lived it. Uh, he was always a protector for us. Uh, my mom always backed him. Well, usually. <laughs> but, yeah, he was gone a lot because of his, his work. Um, but then there was a discipline and accountability and consequences that we grew up with. So it really put the parameters on what is acceptable and what is not. And I think that that's so hard for kids today. And we knew there was a God, because uh, of our parents, their constant prayer and uh, their input in our lives. So I, I just, remember your mom. I don't, I don't think I ever met your dad. He was very quiet. He was very quiet. Very funny um, uh, and a very deep thinker. You would have really loved him. You get to meet him. Oh, well, one day. Yeah. Roy, anything you want to tag on? Well, difference between our families, my dad did not go to church, period. He wasn't going to go. So my mom was the primary spiritual lead. And uh, it, it made things a little awkward at times, but uh, I, I appreciate it. Well, yeah, I, when I, I was a young adult, I wanted to be baptized, and my dad was ticked because I was baptized when I was an infant. I said, well, was your dad Catholic? Lutheran. Lutheran, okay. Okay. Same, and, uh, same ideas there, yeah. It's like, I didn't know what happened then. Right. I'm an adult, I want to be baptized. And so I got baptized in the ocean, but. The, he was not happy about that. <laughs> yeah. And just for those on uh, that are watching, um, what, we're, what we're doing the first few weeks is we're introducing you to the leaders at the Gate Vineyard Fellowship. And those who are in leadership, and get to know them a little better, a little bit, um, a bit of their background that you probably not, don't know. The second thing we want to know is then how you ended up at the gate. Obviously there's a far stretch like you were talking earlier before from getting saved to where Jonathan, you know, when he shared last week they, it was a, it was emerging and it all came together. But how did you end up at the gate? We were living in Lancaster and um, we, we knew we were going to move. Roy got accepted out, out of the base with Lockheed, and um, but before before everything settled uh, for him actually coming over, the Lord told me, "You're going to be with Tina Jones." Did you know Tina, or was this uh, off the wall? I've never or... met Tina. Everybody in my family who went to the same church at that time, uh, they knew her. They loved her. Everybody said, oh, yeah, Tina said this, and Tina did that. Oh, the weirdest thing happened. But Tina, you know. So it wasn't just like out of the blue, you're going to, I mean, there was, you didn't know who she was, and it's. I never and, met her. I didn't, but never, meet, didn't meet her, but you knew who she was. I knew the name. I never saw the person. Okay. So well, that's that, good. So that okay. was, uh, and. and um, now, was, now was it, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, it was Orchid Foursquare, then we turned it, we ended up at the gate. But was, was she already the pastor at that time, or was this prior to that? This, this is prior to that. So we, we can I go ahead a little bit, and then I'm going to give it over to him. Okay. Um, we were active in homeschooling in Lancaster, and, and uh, Roy was uh, headed up a pretty good-sized group of families. And um, so... Cindy Shrum heard about us and she called us while well, we were, I think we were still in Lancaster and she asked us, will you, will you start a homeschool group here? We needed something going. So it's like, oh, well, we'll see. But there's so much going on. So after we were in the hotel, we got pulled into that. And then um, we weren't supposed to hit that part yet, were we? Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> That's okay. That, that was part of what, what we did in the church. Uh, the churches uh, was the, the homeschooling ministry. Um, yes. 
Yeah, we're actually, looking for how you ended up at the yeah, gate. You actually, when, when we moved here, we started going to Santa Maria Foursquare, and Tina was on staff there. Then Tina was uh, set out to be Orchid Foursquare. Right. We did not go with that initial set out, but a little while later, we did end up basically coming out to Orchid Foursquare, which now is the, the, the gate vineyard. So that's kind of how we got here. Um, um, and then we've been here ever since. Basically. Yeah, and that's like, how, I mean, 18, 20 years or something? Well, I thought it was a little longer than that, actually, 25. And actually, when we were at the Baptist Church, that's the church we were, that building was where we were married. Oh, is that right? I'm yeah, we were married Bradley. in that building. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> she used to go to Old Knowles Baptist. My mother did too. She became a Bapticostal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember when you you started there because you were started playing with the worship team. Which was Ralph still leading at that point? Okay, yeah. You and, no, I no, I don't remember ever playing drums. I might have tinkered tinkered here and there, but um, that, man, that was a long time ago. And then you were with them for all the way up to recent, right? Yeah. Played the whole time. You, Gretchen, or you and Gretchen are the ones who were hung in there the longest from the from the original group. Yeah, and you Mark, know. Mark. 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 Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'm talking about people who are still here and active. Yeah. Wow. People grow okay. up. Yeah. One way or another. Okay, well, now I guess we have a few minutes to find out your ministries within the church. Now, a lot of people know that, I don't know, maybe a lot of people don't know you are in the council, an elder, um, but they probably don't know all that you do. And I didn't even know all that you did till we got together this week and you showed me a few things. And I was like, wow, okay. Uh, okay, well. But they need to know that. Okay, I've uh, almost been on the council Probably eighty percent of my time that I've been at this church, going going way back, probably twenty years. I've been on the council, and the council typically is sometimes works with spiritual issues, and sometimes works with uh, brick and mortar leases, rentals, that sort of thing. So uh, I've been involved with that, and then like I got involved. I I basically was fortunate to do most of the design for this upgrade in this sanctuary. Picking, you know, picking the lights, the the projector, the fan. Um, so I do a lot of things with with the physical plant. I guess if that's what you want to call it. I actually did a project while back and replaced all the fluorescent tubes with incandescent tubes in the building. Um, changed the thermostats out to be, you know, so they're con they're uh, programmable. Stuff like that. Well, you, and, and, uh, and you're involved in the teaching. You teach, yeah, you, yes, you, yeah, you teach I teach. And, and I'm an elder. I'm the oldest guy here now. <laughs> you so are? I guess that, yeah, I'm the oldest guy that attends church at this okay. point. Okay, well, I'm catching up to you. <laughs> yeah, the one thing about that, you just won't. <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, it's, it's been neat because I've, I've been able to, I'm an encourager, and I've been able to encourage and bless, I believe, a lot of people. And it's been really sweet to see and, and uh, know the, the, the various folks and uh, to, to love on them. It's been really great. So I know you're not currently playing with the worship right. team, but like, like we were talking earlier, you, for so many years, you were always plugged in there. That's, that's just key, worship. Um, Worshiping is so important for everybody. Uh, intercession is my ministry. It's not always here at the church, but always for the church and everything. Um, but uh, I work with the children's ministry off and, off and on. I'm, we're back in session now. But um, that's kind of fun because there's a part of me that never really grew up. <laughs> and I just love exploration. I love uh, to stir up the curiosity uh, because of God, what God has done is amazing. And I essentially came to the Lord because of watching science stuff. So 
um, and realizing it was God's hand in it. Danny, just I don't mean to interrupt you, but Danny, my daughter, she gets the biggest kick out of you because she thinks that you're like talking from way up here, you know what I mean? She gets the biggest kick out of listening to you because <laughs> you have like a scientific approach when you talk about things. And uh, she just, I don't know, she just gets a big <laughs> kick out of it. And she likes it. I'm not saying she's putting it in. It's fine. She's not in any trouble. <laughs> not with me. But I just, just that, that, and I hope to get back on the worship team in the fairly near future. But um, And what, and what uh, mode? Probably bass player. Okay. Uh, until, they, until somebody is really talented and it will step in. Then I'll go back to acoustic. So. Yeah, acoustic, bass, what else? What else? You still have the white night fly? 12 strings still have the electric, night fly, yeah. the night fly, yeah. Oh, okay. I played that a few times. Yeah, you did. Okay, well, we're a little short. Have you got anything else you want to say? We've well, we got a few minutes going. Yeah, 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 I kind of fill in where things were needed. I, I When I first started at the church, I uh, ushered with Randy Jones, and that was a blast. Because he was a lot of fun, and it was it was neat to work with. At that time, we had a lot of kids that needed kind of a crowling, and it was, that was fun. And I also thoroughly enjoyed. At one point, we had people praying with the praise and worship team in the back there, and I used to love yeah. to get behind a drummer, and I'd get drunker and a skunk in the spirit. And it was just a lot of fun. <laughs> that must have been Steve Getz <laughs> in, in time. Yeah. No, when oh, Steve yeah. came along, we had a big change in the, the oh, yeah. way the worship went. That, that, that was time. that was so much fun. That was really cool. Uh, it's just a pleasure to to be with you all, um, and it's been so exciting to see how the, how the Lord has shifted. The, uh, different inferences as time goes by. It's just a, a very exciting to be following the Lord. And particularly for me in this body, this is just home. And, uh, you know, I, I may leave, but not for on 20 purpose. 20-something years, I'd say that's home, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What about you, Jim? Well, unless you have something else to say, we could. Uh, I just want to remind everybody: Thursday nights we try to stick to 20 minutes. So if you're ever asked to be on, keep that in mind. Um, we're starting off with the leadership, and we're going to work eventually down to, well, not down across to, <laughs> the the congregation. Actually, up to because <laughs> the leadership is the servants of the, of the congregation. So uh, Thursday night, 7 o'clock for 20 minutes. We have a podcast that comes out on YouTube the next day, the recording of this. And we haven't found our home where we're going to be sitting and uh, doing this from. So we'll be changing from uh, week to week till we settle in somewhere and get a whole, our whole team together and set and so forth. So... Uh, pray that the Lord will bless the rest of your week. Thank you for watching. When you see uh, Roy and Sue, give them a hug. Thank them for their service to the gate. And we will be signing off. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>